Morning guys, hope y'all doing okay this morning. I'm gonna show y'all something really cool today that I think is gonna change y'all's taxidermy world forever. I know it's going to mine. Uh, before I get the video started, I wanna start out by saying thank you to all of my subscribers. Uh, y'all have been a, a huge help, huge blessing. Uh, I'm over the 500 subscriber mark now, heading toward a thousand. So I'm hoping one day I can look back and be like, you remember when I only had 500 subscribers? Uh, also, something I've never done before, I would like to invite y'all to come and like and follow my Cedar Ridge Whitetails Taxidermy page. Uh, it is actually Cedar Ridge Whitetails Taxidermy. Make sure you put the taxidermy on the end. That's my Facebook page. And uh, y'all are more than welcome to come follow it and see some of the work that I do. I always put out all of my deer heads uh, as they get finished. Uh, maybe give y'all some ideas for, for forms and turns and different stuff like that. Also, I'm on Instagram at uh, stuffing deers that's stuffing with no g <laughs> stuffing deers one word but anyhow guys let's get this video going good morning welcome to the cedar ridge chronicles today i've got my nose on my deer textured with the new texture tool that i bought This one right here, ordered it online. And uh, I've got to say it, I mean, it worked fantastic. It looks really good. It was really easy, fast, simple, and to me looks better than any texture that I've ever, I've ever done. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this. I've got, I've got something I'm going to try that I've been kind of coming up with in my mind of a way that I might be able to get this nose painted uh, to where it looks, I mean, just really natural. I don't know, I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna film it. And if it turns out good, I'm gonna put all this online. Uh, Some I wanna start by saying too, I've joined the Amazon affiliate program. So uh, below, down in the description, I'm gonna have some links. It's got some stuff in my shop that I'm gonna be using. And on some of my past videos and stuff, if y'all go back and watch any of those, I've actually added some links uh, from Amazon where y'all can just click on that and uh, go straight to some of the products that I use myself here in the shop. So anyway, let's get this thing started. Okay, now as y'all can see, what I've done is I went ahead and did most of my paintwork on this head. I, I went ahead and just sprayed the nose with flesh, uh, flesh colored paint. Got it completely covered real good, all down in all the cracks and all. Now we're gonna try something. Let's see if this works. All right, now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna get a little bit of this dark brown paint. I just want a little thin layer of it. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on my finger. Just like I do when I'm staining antlers. Let's see if this works. Just gonna lightly brush over the top of this. See if I can't hit the top of those nodules and leave the pink in between each side of the nodules. Guys, I think it's working. I think as long as I don't use too much paint at a time, you don't want it to get down in there. Y'all check that out. I think it's working. You just have to do it a little bit at a time. If you get too much paint on your finger, I'm afraid it will get down in between those and kind of mess up the effect you're going for. I 
each little layer you put on there as it kind of dries you just keep layering it getting as dark as you want y'all that's gonna look great it is really really working like i wanted it to Not real concerned with the top because I'm going to actually spray it with my airbrush. Try to fade in that dark from the top down. Hey, I'll look at that. Okay, now we get my airbrush. start giving it a little bit of color from the top down and just kind of fade that in I think that's all I'm going to put on it. Golly. Y'all, that turned out amazing. Take this out here in the sun. Maybe y'all can see it a little bit better here. Look at the colors of that. Hope y'all can see that as good as I can here. But I mean, that is just awesome looking texture awesome looking color i'm really happy with that i mean that that little tool i mean literally takes just seconds i'm gonna tell you all this too uh while i'm on here y'all can go back and watch the video where i did this and actually did the texture but one thing that i would suggest change and i played around with this a little bit on some other deer uh yesterday evening and when you get your epoxy on there wait at least 45 minutes it suggests wait 45 minutes but wait until it's almost hard and uh don't wet the silicone once it gets to where it's it's nearly completely dry almost i mean you can probably wait an hour you just don't want to wait too long or it won't texture but it seems like the drier the better because you get a little bit sharper lines in your definition and if you don't wet this if you just lay it on top of that that modeling clay i'm sorry the epoxy and take your hand in a cup like that right there and just press and press down and then pull off that way you don't smear or cut or or move any of this into that epoxy and you end up with a little bit better uh a little bit better texture on the edges if you're if you're not able to get the entire edge with your hand cup like that if you'll take this and kind of turn it inside out just a little bit like that and just roll it on the edges it'll take care of everything you'll be finished and now hit it with some triple thick just like that is it's actually faster than any other method that I've ever tried. And I really can't wait to get this video edited and put it out there because this is gonna help so many people. If I, I wish so bad I'd known this like 10 years ago. I don't know if this was available 10 years ago, but it sure is nice. Anyway guys, thank y'all for watching. Don't forget about the links in the description. 
uh, where, you know, anything that I can put on there to, that I use in here that, that uh, you can get on Amazon, uh, I'll have those links available for you down in the description. I appreciate y'all watching, and we will see y'all next video.